Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Minecraft. There's a, a good you... chance that they drop copper bars. You can set up farms to do that. Right. Yeah, I've gotten quite a few of those now. The right. blue ice. I've got... Hmm? I've got a uh, map. Yeah, i got a map as well. Fair attention map. Right, where, where are you? Where, st st stay still. I'm following... I'm chasing you around the... Thing I was chasing you. Way. Oh, you, you haven't picked it up. Oh, you hold on to that one, and I'll hold on to this one. There's blue ice over here, look. You, you get it, like, on the bottom of the icebergs, by the look of it. Yeah. I'm just going to grab that. Yeah, proper blue ice. Blue ice is... It takes longer to mine the stuff out. But I just want to grab the blue ice that's here a minute. Because this is awesome that we've actually got a load of blue ice. There's loads of it in this one. Okay, this is absolutely awesome. It can take so long mining out these um, ice bags. Oh, hello. Well, if if you're standing on it, it's fine, actually. Yeah, it's a lot better if you stand on it. It's when you can't stand on it that's a pain. Right. Okay, I've, I've mined out a whole load of stuff underneath, and so I'm just going to go now and try and pick up everything, because it's all floating up to the top. That's also a problem, is it floating, like, under the iceberg, and it yeah. kind of gets on stuck on all the different, like, levels and bits, and it's a bit of a pain. Right. I'll pick that up. I think I've got most of it here. Oop. Stop making a mess. But there is a much easier way. I know that the blue ice is definitely the stuff that we want to go for. It's like the the best stuff to get. But it yeah. sort of it as it's mixed in with the rest of the icebergs, we can go up to the top. And oh, it's not going to let me get out of the water there. We, we can sort of get up to the top of the iceberg and then do it from up there. Well, and work your way down. Work our way down. Yeah, that's what I normally do. And leave the outside edges of it. Something like that. But anyway, yeah. Um, 52 blue ice and a stack of uh, packed ice as well. That's looking pretty good. And then I want to go here. So we've both got a buried treasure map. My buried treasure map, I want to go in a southwest. Southwest. So I want to go that way, southwest from here. Which way do you want to go for yours? Uh, southeast. No, southwest, yeah. Oh, it might be. Oh, hang on, have then. a look. Yeah, where are you? Go over there. Have a look at my map. Nope. I'm going straight to where my one told me to go. And then we'll have a look. Okay. So I'm just going to go here. We'll see if we end up in the same place. I suspect we might, because now I want to go due west from here. Oh, nearly there. I think it's actually this island. Yeah. Yep. Uh, interestingly, though, for once, it's underwater. That's annoying. Oh, so it is the same place. Right, it's a race. Who's going to get there first? It's here, somewhere. Ah, but where is it exactly? Huh? I said, where is it exactly? Where are you? Trying to find the same treasure that you're trying to find. Yeah, but surely we should be in the same place. Yeah, we should, but maybe you're in slightly the wrong place. Ma ha -ha, I found it first! <laughs> I don't understand. I'm literally under the spot. Yeah, have a look where I am. Look up, look, look down. I can't see you. Oh, there. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally right behind you. So oh, I kept stopping to look at you, like look for you. Yeah, well, I was slightly over from here. So there's another heart of the sea that we got. I'm to cook salmon, some Do iron, prismarine. Uh, yeah, take the rest because I haven't got any room. 
Right. Okay. There's another chest. We were. So what are we doing? We're. Oh, we're leaving the buried treasure maps in the chests, aren't we? We don't really need to keep all of those. No. So we've got a really nice source of ice right over here. So uh, tell you what, Sen, let's go to the middle of that um, area. Where? Which area? Okay, that's weird. I can jump up and down on this and it doesn't break. If I was what? to do that, though, it does break. Um, anyway, uh, if we go to the middle of the icebergs area, and then we could put down a portal. Oh, okay. This, uh, this is going to be a nice area for search for them, because you said there was another place for icebergs, because we got another uh, an ice village sort of yeah, lined up. Yeah, I do have up, a but... portal. It's not quite as close. Do you want to... Well, hang on. Here, see where these skeletons are down here? Ooh! There's a zombie here that's got a complete outfit of golden armor. Where'd he go? Hang on. There he is. Do, do you mean okay, on this didn't drop anything, um, did grass down here? Uh, yeah, down there. I reckon if we put our portal down there, that would be the perfect spot. Um, that's... I'm going to sleep. Pretty much in the middle, but, um, well, it's not like quite in the middle, but I reckon that island is probably closest to the middle. Well, maybe not. Frozen Ocean goes a long way over this way, and there's a monument over this way as well. Alright, Sen, change your plan. I just cleared it. Yeah, Wait, where am I going? You, you'll be fine. Um, there's a slightly bigger island. It's it's mostly sand. Uh, X uh, fifteen eighty five. Z sixty two hundred. Let's see. But this one is sort of. It seems to be more in the middle of all of the ice, and there's also a. A monument fairly close by, and I see another shipwreck over there as well. Can you see me? So yeah, I reckon we should build it here. Uh, have you got any obsidian? Yeah. No, that's good, because I don't. <laughs> Did you not think about that before, you know, you thought, let's go build a portal? Nope. Didn't even occur to me. Okay. Um, uh, in my ender chest. Right. Um... I'm just going to go and take a quick look at the shipwreck over there. And also, can you see the shipwreck from here, Zen? Whoever stand next to me, it's a there's an upside down boat. Um, I think so. Uh, if you go in that direction, if you go on past the shipwreck, the upside down shipwreck, there is yep. also a monument. If you go a little bit past it, surrounded by frozen icebergs, but there is a monument I can see down there. So, technically, there's a load of treasure inside that one that we'll Ooh, be able to get nice. at some point. I'm going to take a quick look in here and find the goodies that are in here. Which, in theory, should... Ooh. Right, we've got emeralds, we've got a load of iron nuggets. I think I've made this way bars. too big. Hey. Eh? Too wide is all it needs to be. I think I've made this way too big. Did you make it too wide? Can it? It's two blocks uh, wide and three blocks high. Tall. You can you can make it bigger. It doesn't actually matter if you make it bigger. Uh, um, the minimum is two blocks wide. Well, I've got plenty of. Right. There Compasses we go. stack. That's interesting to know. Uh, I'm going to leave the carrots behind and I'll take that buried treasure map just for a minute because I want to see if this buried treasure map is a useful one. I also want to see if there's a, a... Yep, there is one more chest in here and that one is not a huge amount of use. Coal, potatoes, wheat and a leather cap. I don't know why I bother picking up the leather armor because there is absolutely nothing we can do with it apart from strip out enchantments for a little tiny bit of extra cash. Right. 
Okay. One, two, three, four, one, two. You have made a very big portal. So this yeah, treasure map know. right here is actually a different treasure map to the one that we previously had. So I yeah. want to go... No, I don't want to go south. I want to go west. Uh... I also need to put something down. Let me put down an ender chest, actually, a minute, so that I've got room to pick up stuff that will be in the new chest. Oh, no, I should have room to put stuff in. Do you so want... I, I can get... A, I've got empty shock boxes, if you want one. I'm just going to move a couple of bits of stuff into my ender chest a second. Okay. Ice and copper and stuff like that. And I'll pick that one up. There we go. And then I can go and follow this map. So this map right here is telling us to go in that direction. So let's go. And then we'll have a look. Right. Oh, no, no. My mistake. It is in exactly the same place as the last one. So. Oh, it is? Yeah, that map's no good. We've already explored that, so I'll just ditch it. Right. What do you think we should do then, Sen? Should we do some other work, or should we go and like mine out a whole load of ice and stuff? Um, I don't think we should. Do we need to mine out any ice? Well, we want to make blue ice. That's kind of like the the main thing that we're going to want to do with it. Is we want to get a load of blue ice eventually. Oh, I know, but what are the projects we have at the moment? Right, the things that we're working on is the item sorter, obviously, and yep. um, we are going to be wanting to continue building our stuff in the nether, all of the tracks, but we were going to wait until after 1.18 before we start putting any blue ice or anything down on those, so yeah, we're, we can leave that and wait. Uh, there's a guardian farm that we were going to build at some point, and we we're also going to build a, a stone generator next to the cactus farm because the stone generator is one that we only need to turn on off occasionally we could build it there and um because that's like an area that you like to spend a lot of time in yeah um so if we have a few more items there that can just be switched on and off um then that would be fine so we could put the stone generator over there and tie that in with a second actually this i'm gonna i'm gonna go there right now have you been through here yet no all right, let's see where this takes us. Uh, probably the nether. Uh, I don't want to alarm you, Sen. But it's taken me into the nether. Whoa, really? I know, right? I'm, I'm, as, I'm as shocked as you are. So, where are we in relation to anything else? We're minus 205 and we're Z778. So we're a little, we're a little away from home. Right, um, I'm, I'm just going to stand just, here a second, Sen, in this corner. Just um, I'm just having to fly around. Oh, you're doing that as well. I was going to say, oh, whoa, Sen, uh, go back. Go back to your body. Why? Move away from the edge, because directly underneath you, almost, is a lava lake. Ah, uh, okay. And there's a big hole that will access Ed's lava lake. I was just going to see if there's if I can see any of my corridors. Yeah, that's but what I was doing as well. I'm just I going. I don't up. think I can. Uh, I'm just up near the roof at the moment, just scanning through. Oh yeah, I see one. Which direction? What's the coordinate? Um, sixty-seven, five eight five. Sixty-seven. What? Actually, sixty-seven or minus sixty-seven? Oh, sorry, minus sixty-seven. All right. Minus 67 and then Z what? And then, and then Z 585. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. All right. Minus 67 and then Z 585. Oh, we've just reached the very edge of it. Okay, so that comes yeah, all the way so along which portal here. Is this? Oh, and that takes us. That's where a portal finishes up. Um. Okay, so I think way. what portal this is. Um, but yeah, I can make a, 
uh, tunnel to this. Yeah, so we need to get up to the roof and so on. Should we do that or should we just uh, fly home? We'll go back through the portal and fly home. Um, yeah, I can do the tunnel later. All right. It's very boring. Okay, we'll go and step back through. Uh, so, yeah, if we go over to the Mesa and we could at least have a look at the stone generator, because the stone generator is something that we are going to need. I don't actually have the blueprint for it yet, but it's something that I'm working on. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember which direction we need to go to get home, though, or what the coordinates um, of the Mesa are. I'm guessing we need to go north, because we came south, didn't we? Oh, yeah, so we just go straight north. We'll... We'll end up roughly there. Sort of, we'll soon be able yeah. to figure it out. I know that we did fly around a little bit in the new area. But, yeah, um, it's surprising just how close it is to the Mesa. Yeah. I mean, it's surprising how fast you can travel using the Elytra. That's what I love about the Elytra, is just how efficient it is. I know, I don't know anywhere. why you didn't get us some sooner. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's all my fault. It's C, right? I, d I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know either. I don't think you were thinking. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, I love you. Is it is it possible to trade in a wife? Is it, is oh, there there's like... a village. There's or another village. village. Is is it possible to trade in a wife? Like if if I was to like go on a website, could, could I like trade you in for a different model? Mm, I'm not sure anyone would, you know. Bear happy. left, and we should get to. Our no, the pe polar thingy. bears are behind us. Uh huh. Right, the the geodes. There's loads of them in the ocean. Yeah, I see. There's, there's quite a few of those there, and also. Um, oh, I've got use... piggies as well. Sorry. Oh, you've been you've been breeding those as well, have you? Um, they were around here, and I thought we don't have any pigs anywhere, and so I thought occasionally for some different food, um, I could just get some pork and give you pork. Okay, is this a mule or is this a donkey? Oh, I don't know, but he rudely climbed in. He wasn't invited. Um, he just decided to wander in to my cage. A pack mule. Yeah. Um, he just doesn't eat carrots, though. I don't know what they eat, unless they eat, um... But you think they eat wheat, carrots? Maybe? Not sure. They might eat apples. Well, maybe. Could be an apple eater. So, what we were thinking is that we've got... This little furnace array right here. It's not a very big furnace array, but it doesn't really need to be. And what we've also got is the bamboo, which goes all the way around a bit up there. And then it comes down here and goes through all of these chests. Now, eventually, we were going to build some, uh, have some fletchers up here and do stuff with fletchers. And then the fletchers would be able to sell, we, we could sell the sticks that we get from the bamboo, so you can turn bamboo into sticks, and then we've got fletchers over there that we can go and sell them to, and there's a whole load of money to come in. Then what we were going to do after that is the, the bamboo could then come down this way, but what I'm thinking is that the bamboo should come down this way. So we bring it... Uh, it comes out of the sorter up there, it drops down into this bit, and then it comes down over to here. And instead of turning and going up that way to start with, we take it straight on. And it comes all the way down this way and gets to this point right here. And then it goes into an item elevator, which is just a uh, column of bubbles sending it upwards. And that goes up here, and then it runs along the top here. Well, not the top this side, it will run along the top on the back over here. We can get rid of a whole load of these. They're hitting me. Uh, yeah, you need to sleep. I've slept loads. Mm. Do you want me to sleep or do you want me to leave? Uh, no, I've just come out of free cam a second. I'm going to go run over to the house.
and I'm going to sleep inside. Uh, so, yeah, we can just redirect that water stream a little bit and we can bring the bamboo going past and then going over towards this lot over here, which I think would work really well. And then once it's come off the end of that, the second water stream can then pick it up again and it can go back through and end up coming back over to this pit, this bit over here and then going to the bamboo storage room. So, so we're just going to like divert it away ever so slightly. And I think the best way to divert this, because the water here, like I block that off and it heads up in that direction. If I redesign this bit just a little tiny bit, I don't need to do a lot. Um, I just have to dig that out a little tiny bit. And then that water will go straight across here. Now I've, got that in the way which is a slight problem so i'll probably just bring it to this point maybe something like that i don't know and it's gonna head over this way we'll bring it over here and then it'll come up and it will travel all the way along now if i go and i have a look at the it the, the furnaces up here on the top for the cactuses you'll notice that at the moment we got furnaces burning on the second side just a few of them over here we don't get loads of them burning at once and what I do have over here is I've got chests. And when I run the bamboo farm for an afternoon, it fills up all of the chests. We've got several double chests on here. They all fill up. And then once they're full, we don't need to run this for quite a while. The problem with running this one is you have to stay AFK at the farm. If you go away, the flying machine can break. And that's what we don't want. So to redesign a bit down here... What we're going to want to do, first of all, is the hoppers on the top, they can stay exactly where they are. When we build a cobblestone, or a it won't be a cobblestone, it's a stone generator, because it's faster. Um, we'll build a stone generator right here. Now, it's a design by Il Mango. I've seen a couple of his videos, and um, I'll be using his world download and copying that. And that's the one that I'm going to use on it for his world download. The same as the bamboo farm. That was his world download. And I just got that one. And then I did a blueprint of it. I've never, ever said that, that is my design. And it's not my design. That is Il Mango's design. I just made it a bit bigger for that one. Um, so the couple, the, the, the stone farm, that will be built over here. And then the stone will come out of that. It'll actually, it's cobblestone that comes out of it. It generates, the way that it works, it generates stone and then that's blasted and then that's turned into cobblestone when it's harvested and then it comes over. And if we want smooth stone, it's got to, or like normal plain stone, we've got to put it through the furnace in order to get the plain stone. Um, there is no way to actually harvest it unless we stand there and manually harvest the stone by hand, um, which I don't really want to do. So we'll do it like this. Um, along the back here... We're going to put a few lines of chests, and I think that we'll actually end up putting four double chests for each line so that we've got loads and loads and loads of bamboo that is going to go into all of these all the way along, and that means that we'll have plenty of stone and stuff coming in. So we're going to need a whole load of double chests. We can start getting that sorted out. We've got a trader right here who will sell us a bit of blue dye for some emeralds, a bucket of puffer fish. Red dye, jungle sapling, melon seeds. Nothing there that I want to buy. Uh, -huh. uh So, Sen. Yes. Do you have a pile of chests? No. You're not very useful. Um, I take it you need some. Do we have any hoppers over here? Uh, I don't know. Maybe in the house. I know that we've got a whole load of hoppers back home uh, with the item sorter. Uh, yeah. I just don't oh, I've, I've got lots we've of, got any I've got here. lots of iron. Yeah. There's loads of iron in this chest over here. Right, so we can use that. Uh, I'm just going to take all of the excess stuff out of here that I don't really want in here. Uh, the uh, heart of the sea. I got a heart, I got heart of the sea elsewhere as well. I'm just going to dump all the ice and the copper. Everything is just going to go in here for a minute. In that chest right there. I got 42... Actually, I should no. put it into the magic coffee table. I have 49 chests. Uh, we're going to need more chests than that. Um, is it a start? 
Right. Uh, to start. That's yeah. all the iron I picked up. Oh, I deal. I know that we got a load of iron here anyway in the corner. This this one right in the corner has got a load of iron blocks, yeah. so we've got some in there. Uh, the iron there, if I just go to iron ingots like that, and then hoppers. There's 49 hoppers that we've got out of those chests. We've got wood over here. No, we don't. Okay, so we're going to have to go and harvest a few trees. Okay. That's what we're going to need first. Oh, well, we, I'll tell you what, Sam. We could just go back home a second. I'll go back home a second. Okay. And grab hoppers and chests out from there because we've got loads and loads of hoppers and chests back at the item sorter yeah um we've got shulker boxes full of them so we'll go and get a whole load of those and we can bring them back over um i will eventually want to do a modification to the bamboo farm which i have talked about before which is just remove uh, putting in an extra line of hopper emptying thingy do does where I have they have no idea what you're on about on our bamboo farm where it empties the hopper minecarts right down the far end yeah i want to build that exact same thing again at the end nearest the cactus farm so right. that we got it twice yeah and then there'll be a split in the middle and we'll do another line of hopper minecart so when it's running instead of a hopper minecart going the full length of the bamboo farm and then emptying out. It'll only go half the length and then empty out. Yeah. Um, because the hopper minecarts are filling up in less than half the length. So if we were to move them. So you know what? I'm just going to bring that entire thingy right there. That one. We'll bring you and I want the one with all of the, there we go, all of the chests in. So I'll bring that and then I'll put those back into your iron blocks. Okay. Actually, as I've got them all in there, let's just put them into that one, just in case anything really, really nasty happens to us at any point while we're going through the nether. Put some salmon in there, and then we'll go back into here. Uh, yeah, so that will... Basically, the bamboo will then come through at double the speed that it does right now, and I think that that's going to be beneficial to us. Have we got rockets in the Mesa area. Um, hang on, I'll just check the house. I think there's some there. I mean, I'm hoping there is because I'm most of the way back now. Uh, yeah. Right, ideal. I got ten left. Nine left. Um, yeah, there's like there? five stacks and a load of gunpowder. <laughs> These pigs are violent creatures and they don't knock back either. But he did have a load of leather and that on him. That's Which, another thing. Oh, in the nether. Yeah. Uh, the hog. hog. I thought you were talking um, about my pig. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.